uh, I got to be honest with you. <laughs> I've been a little warm in the last couple of weeks with my Blazing Five picks. Let's turn the heat up. Feeling it. Let's blaze it up. Fire it up. It's Collins Blazing Five. Bills at Colts. I like the Colts plus four. Listen, Flacco's going to be fine. It was the first game starting. Give him some reps. He'll be fine. Buffalo, Jonathan Taylor. Buffalo didn't defend the run particularly well. Jonathan Taylor, 100-plus scrimmage yards for the last five games. Good offensive line. They will run the ball. They have a chance to control the clock. And they have tied for the most takeaways in the AFC. Here's what scares me about Buffalo. They're getting more Josh Allen reliant. 12 rush attempts, 106 passes over the last three games. Back-to-back games with an interception. They're getting a little Josh Allen heavy. They've got 19 players on the injured list. They come off a very emotional divisional win against Miami. I think the Bills go on the road. They get flat. It's a must-win game for the Colts in a feisty division. Bills got their division wrapped up. I'm going to get the upset here. Take the points. Upset, Colts 27, Bills 24. Vikings at Jaguars. Love the Vikings. Trevor Lawrence won't play. It's going to be Mac Jones. The entire offense, six different starters for the Jags on offense are banged up. Vikings only losses to the Rams when they got healthy in the Lions. They're a fast starting team. So Minnesota on the road takes the lead. They're actually the best first quarter team in the league. They'll quiet the crowd, what there is of one. Offense, number two in the NFL in Minnesota in big plays, and Sam Darnold's hot seven of his eight starts, 100-plus passer rating, tied for the best in the NFL. The Jaguars' defense is awful. It is terrible. They're a slow-starting team. The defense is 30th or worse in almost every unit. Listen to this. They allow six yards of play. That is unheard of. A fast-starting Minnesota Vikings offense, a quarterback and coaching advantage, Mac Jones against Darnold. I'm going to lay the seven points. Vikings win by 10, 33-23. Steelers at Commanders. I'm going to take Mike Tomlin off a bye as an underdog. He's the best underdog coach maybe of his generation. Take the Steelers plus the three points. Back-to-back games with 400-plus yards. Russell Wilson is really keying in on George Pickens, thriving together. Here's the thing. Their defense is terrific. Number one red zone defense. So even if Washington busts off some big plays, they'll settle more often from, for field goals than touchdowns. And the commander's defense is bad. 28th best red zone defense. And I kind of like what I've seen from Pittsburgh's red zone offense in run game with Russell Wilson. I have a feeling Pittsburgh's going to control the clock pound the rock, move the pocket, and when the commanders do move the ball against the great defense, they'll move it some, they'll settle for field goals. I'm taking Mike Tomlin off a bye, plus the points as an underdog to beat Washington 27-24. to 49ers at Buccaneers. Listen, we said yesterday this is the bet of the week. I'll take 49ers minus six and a half. They're getting healthy. They're coming off a bye. McCaffrey, Debo Samuels, Jawan Jennings are all back. They've won four or five games under Shanahan, the last four or five off a bye. Number two in total offense, and that's using number three and number four running backs. Defense, multiple takeaways in three games. You got a ticked off San Francisco team getting healthy. They're going to eat. Tampa's on a short week off a physical overtime game with Kansas City. Their defense allows 33 a game, and they are falling apart. Baker's not healthy. A couple of the backs aren't healthy. Mike Evans still out. Vita Villa isn't 100%. This is a bad, bad spot for Tampa. I like the Niners to win comfortably 30 to 20. Dolphins and Rams. You know, the wise guys like Miami here. I do not. I like the Rams. Three-game winning streak. They're 8-3 and three when they're healthy with Puka, Cooper Cup, Stafford, Kyron Williams, and they are healthy. And Miami goes on the road again, this time all the way cross country. The story of the Rams is how good their defensive rookies are. They lead the NFL in hits, sacks, interceptions. This defense is a bunch of rookies and second-year players, and they're getting better by the week. Tua, better at protection. Jared versus unblockable. 
I don't think it's Stafford as much as it is this defense for a team that now travels for the second straight week. And I don't like Miami doesn't get a pass rush. So Stafford is going to be really comfortable. They don't defend the run. Again, I think the Rams win time of possession, control the line of scrimmage, at home, control the clock. Dolphins fly cross country after the Buffalo trip. I like the Rams to win 30 to 24. Wise guys like the Finns. I do not. J Mac, read them and react. I don't know, buddy. Uh, one of us is going to have a good week, that's for sure, because we are opposite on, well, definitely one of the games. Uh, that Colts one is tough. They, they, their center's now gone. Um, I, they Remember, got some injuries. Buffalo isn't great at defending the run. They have injuries. Keon Coleman just out two no, minutes ago. They the Buffalo out. Bills, three of their best four receivers either may not play or dinged up. So they're going, and by the way, they come off an emotional game. They're all dinged mm. up on offense. They do not defend the run, and I'll tell you what the Colts do, and we saw it with Miami. You can run on Buffalo. You can get away with that at home. When you go on the road and you and you can't stop the run and you're sitting, Josh Allen sitting watching the game. Maybe I have to tell you on that because I'm in the, con- the Vegas contest, a lot of money at stake. Uh, I'm off a of 4-1. and one. We'll see. Uh, you could talk me into the Colts. I like that. It's not bad by you. Always seeking value. Yeah, Rams-Dolphins is a tough one. I don't know. You know what? You know why I did that, though? Because I just trust McVeigh. Mm. The story of the Rams this year is not Stafford. This def- last two years with Aaron Donald leaving, they just sent all their top picks to defense. They have hit home runs on virtually every defensive pick. It feels like Dolphins emptied the tank last week in Buffalo. That's what I feel. Country and you- their defense stinks. Miami's defense is. Invisible. Hey, I, got, I, I want you to listen to this. So I said yesterday on the show about the Dallas Cowboys, I said it is time for organizational alignment. The Dallas Cowboys, if you go look at that schedule, they're going to be underdogs in all but one or maybe two of the games. Dak Prescott's out for a month, right? The Cowboys quietly have to sit their go-either-way players. They're going to be underdogs. If they only win, they got three wins now. If they beat Carolina and the Giants, lose to the rest of them, 5-12. and 12. You start looking at those games. Start looking at those games. Philadelphia loss, Houston loss, Washington loss, Cincinnati. Tampa Bay is a real team. Philadelphia, Washington. You're going to be a big dog in a lot of these games, with or without Dak. You go 5-12. and 12. Now, last year, 5-12. and 12. The Chargers turned it around in one year. Hitting a couple of draft picks, got the right coach. Will the Cowboys have a come-to-Jesus moment and acknowledge privately soft tank? 